UK-based charity War on Want and PNG-based community advocacy group Act Now are calling for immediate action to end the land grab and cancel the leases by the PNG government. They are also asking the international community to be more proactive in pressuring for action by the relevant authorities. Mr. Tanago also made a call to international countries who are involved in the logging and palm oil industry from the SABL areas to stop. We are calling on the United Nations Special Rapporteurs who have, already who have already returned to the government, expressing their concerns about human rights abuses, to come to Papua New Guinea to see the impacts firsthand and speak directly with the government. We are also calling on China and other countries taking logs and palm oil from the SABL areas to stop this illegal trade. In the 1970s, the government introduced the land scheme with the intent of helping landowner participation in economic activities. According to Act Now, more than 5 million hectares of land was stolen from rural communities using fraudulent SABL agriculture leases between 2013 to 2019. The leases were exposed as having been unlawfully issued by a commission of inquiry that released its findings in 2013. Testimonies from the recently published report were collected over a two-year period by researchers who visited SABL-affected communities. The report highlights how the SABL land grab as well as breaching PNG's own land laws and the constitution has breached a whole raft of international laws and conventions. This include the International Convention on the Elimination of Racial Discrimination, the United's Declaration on the Rights of the Indigenous People and the International Covenant on Economic, Social and Cultural Rights and many of the fundamental human rights protected in the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. Following a commission of inquiry in 2011, Prime Minister Peter O'Neill vowed to cancel all SABLs abused by commercial operators and urged landowners to revisit the leases and negotiate better benefits where possible. Act now claims that since then, however, not much has been done to return the land to its rightful owners. Charlene Airy, National MTV News.